I would note that my friend from New Jersey did not endeavor to answer any of the questions I proffered, including the most simple questions, such as, did the president sleep on the night of September 11th, 2012? I think that whether the president slept or not on that day, the question is, did he even get told by those uh, who had information that such an attack was going on? I don't know. The bottom line is, is that would that have saved anybody? I don't know either. The bottom line is, do you want to do something about saving any future lives, or do you just want to do politics with this issue? If you want to save lives tomorrow where you have the control, where you have the control at this moment, then you will let the embassy security bill go forward. If, God forbid, we have an attack somewhere in the world where the legislation that we are seeking in a bipartisan way in response to that independent board is stopped because the other side wishes to stop it, then God forbid that we have an attack and lives are lost, and then there will be an accounting at that time. Well, I want to thank my friend from New Jersey for a powerful speech in support of this Joint Select Committee on Benghazi. Because the Democratic Senator from New Jersey, the Chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, just told this body that he has no idea if President Obama was even told four Americans were under terrorist attack. He has no idea. He doesn't know what, if anything, the President could have done to save them. I would suggest that's exactly the reason we need this committee. If the Chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee two years later cannot answer that question, it makes abundantly clear that the response of the administration and sadly the response of Senate Democrats has been partisan stonewalling rather than trying to get to the truth. In the immortal lines of Jack Nicholson, it makes one think perhaps they can't handle the truth or at least they don't want to know it. So I will finally say I am more than prepared to consent to the request from the senior senator from New Jersey if he will only show the same reciprocal courtesy of consent uh, of agreeing to the same request for a joint committee, a bipartisan committee, a committee in which he could no doubt participate to answer the questions that the senior senator from New Jersey just told this body. He doesn't know if the president knew, he doesn't know what the president could have done, and apparently the premise of the statements are that he doesn't think the American people care. I would suggest the American people care a great deal what the president knew about national security. If he wasn't engaged, if the people didn't know him, if he didn't act to stop it, that is a matter worthy of the inquiry of this body. I would say to my colleague from Texas that we have come to a conclusion based on all of the hearings, all of the testimony, all of the reports as to what transpired and what we can do to save a life prospectively. And so therefore, I would say to the gentleman, he has it in his control to ultimately ensure that we set the foundation so that no one else will lose their life. If he wants to hold that hostage to his political efforts to continue an issue that has had thousands of hours of review, hearings, reports, all with bipartisan uh, participation, then he can choose to do so. Since my friend from New Jersey has made plain that he's not willing to consent to this request, I will note that this is an open offer, that any time my friend from New Jersey will simply stop blocking a fair, bipartisan joint inquiry into what occurred in Benghazi, the tragically a terrorist attack took the lives of four Americans. I'm happy to The time you. for morning business has expired.